Adam, pleasure. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate that. Um, let's talk UFC gyms. Is this, the, is this model the future of gyms? I think so. I, I think, you know, since we started this in 2008, it's really been about how you bring innovation to improve the member experience so they stick with this. The number one health enemy is procrastination. People have every good intention of working out and getting in shape, and what do they do? They stop, right? And so we think through disciplines and through training jiu-jitsu and boxing and kickboxing and other programs, it creates more of a gamification process where people want to continue to progress. I mean, it takes 10 years to get a black belt. Right? And, and so that's progression, that's education, that's empowerment. And so yes, it's a different X factor, it's a secret sauce of what fitness should be. Is the, um, is the advancement of MMA as a sport, is that, has that helped um, with the global appeal of the UFC gym franchise? Absolutely, I mean listen, the, uh, when you think about how UFC has evolved over the last 15 years, it's been incredible. It went from not being able to get sanctioned to now people having an excessive desire to host uh, an event around the world. And then you incorporate the Ronda Rousey effect, right? We're really empowered the female. And ever since Ronda came in the, in the play, look at what has happened on the female divisions. And that's empowered so many little girls around the world to think about fitness in a little bit different way. So the, the UFC is exploding, it's growing. You know, we got IMG WME behind it as well as a support system. Um, and, and we have every possible tool to make this the dominant global brand. And I'd say in five or 10 years, that's what you're gonna see. Let's, um, let's be clear, who's the facility for? I've heard you mention Ronda Rousey's advancement of women. You mentioned 10 years to get a, you know, a black belt. Who's this for? It's for General Joe and General Jill. It, it really is for mainstream America. And, and what we do is we say, okay, here's how UFC athletes train. We want consumers to be able to train in a similar way without getting a black eye, without getting a broken nose, to really enjoy an experience that's very functional and that's empowering. You know that I would say probably 90% of the people that walk in don't know how to hit a bag. Now I want you to think about that. They, they think hitting a bag is all with your arms and your shoulders when really it comes from your core. When you teach somebody how to hit a bag and kick a bag correctly through their core, it's so empowering, it's incredible. And so yeah, I, th I think when you look at um, the effect and the impact of who the consumer is, it's the kids, it's mom, it's dad. And listen, there's also athletes that wanna come in and they want a gym that stands for everything, that where they can go in and do jiu-jitsu, they can do kickboxing, they can do boxing, but they can also do weights, machines, and cardio. Last question then. 150 gyms opened worldwide, I think, so far. 400 locations uh, being looked at. And so far as the UK and Ireland, I know that it's uh, 100 is the target, 10 for 10 every year. Uh, this, this, you're looking to take over, aren't you? I, I think you're being conservative. I, I, you know, this is my first time in London. And I have been so impressed. The, the people here, the experience, the, I did learn what pubs were all about. So I got that experience. Uh, but you really have uh, an ability to have, uh, a, we, have a, we have an ability to have a great impact here. And the partners that we've chosen are just top notch. They're gonna come in and they're gonna absolutely redefine the way people experience fitness. And I, I wouldn't be surprised throughout the entire UK and Ireland that you see 140 to 150 clubs. Good luck. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.